U.S. Marine Corps uses the CH-46 tandem rotor helicopter to transport troops, supplies, and equipment. Introduced in 1964, the Marines received their last new aircraft in 1971. VX Aerospace technicians lay up carbon fiber fabric in molds to create composite replacements for sheet aluminum covers for a tunnel atop the out-of-production CH-46 helicopter. The molds are vacuum bagged to compress the fabric into the mold and then cured in an oven. To replace the worn and complicated sheet aluminum covers pictured at left for the tunnel atop the out-of-production CH-46 helicopter, VX Aerospace engineered and manufactured composite components consisting of a multi-layer carbon fiber shell tapering to about an eighth of an inch thick at the edges, encasing a half inch thick base made of Roacel rigid foam. Here a KC-135 Stratotanker refuels an F-15 Eagle Fighter. An F-22 Raptor fighter, which entered service in 2005, is refueled by a KC-135 tanker aircraft, which was introduced in 1957 and last produced in 1965. On the depot maintenance floor of the nearly mile-long Oklahoma City Air Logistics Center at Tinker Air Force Base in Oklahoma, a KC-135 is stripped of paint, engines, and much of its interior as mechanics overhaul the workhorse aircraft. Machinist Mike Bowe, pictured at right, and engineering technician Tom Lang examine a sample wing production brake 